Hello all, Dan from DroneBlog.com here. In today's video, we'll be showing how to update the firmware on the DJI Air 3 and the DJI RC2 remote controller, which may at times also updating the firmware on the Air 3's batteries. Feel free to use the chapters to skip to the areas of the walkthrough that pertain to you. Now, while there are some that like to stay with the original firmware their drones were released with, updating your Air 3's firmware is beneficial. New features, tweaks, and fixes are added over time, and these updates improve the user experience. One such recent improvement to the Air 3 is the addition of ActiveTrack 360 Auto and other features. Thankfully, with the new batch of drones, DJI has been committed to implementing many of the features into the Air 3 that the Mavic 3 series has. To update the firmware on your Air 3, you'll need your DJI Air 3, your DJI remote controller, and in this case, we're speaking of the DJI RC2, and all of the batteries you own and use for the Air 3. Additionally, as a general rule of thumb, it's advised to have the Air 3 batteries and remote controller fully charged before running firmware updates. The steps to update the firmware on your Air 3 are as follows. Before turning on the Air 3, remove the gimbal cover. This will ensure that when the Air 3 is turned on, the movement of the gimbal will not be impeded and cause errors. After booting up your DJI RC2, make sure you're connected to a Wi-Fi network. To check this, go into your settings screen by double sliding down the notification shade. If your Wi-Fi is not enabled, tap the Wi-Fi icon and wait for a connection. If you're connecting to the Wi-Fi for the first time, press and hold the Wi-Fi icon. This will bring you into the Wi-Fi settings. Here, you can connect to your preferred network. Next, turn on the Air 3. If you use your DJI RC2 to also fly a Mini 4 Pro in addition to the Air 3, Depending on which drone was flown last, you may need to scroll through the list of drones used and then choose the Air 3. Select the Air 3, then choose Go Fly. Now if you have only the Air 3, you'll most likely just enter the DJI Fly Camera View screen immediately. From within the Camera View screen, press the Back button, which will take you to the Air 3 Home screen. Here you will see that there is a firmware update available. Choose Install. If you haven't already done so, unfold the Air 3 so you can insert the next set of batteries after the initial update has been installed. During the update process, the lights on the Air 3 will flash various colors. The DJI RC2 will also reboot itself. After the firmware has been installed and updated, you may need to update each battery that you own and use in the Air 3. Turn off the Air 3, remove the battery that was initially in the Air 3 for the update, and insert the next one. Turn on your Air 3. Again, hit the back button after the Air 3 turns on and goes in the camera view. If there is a battery firmware update, you should now see another update available for the battery. Select Update. You'll then be brought to an additional screen that says Update Available. Select Update here, and then the Air 3 battery will update. It's normal while the battery is in the process of being updated that the Air 3 will reboot itself. This could possibly be more than once. After the battery has been updated, you'll receive a message saying Firmware Update Successful. Now at this point, you can exit the Update screen, returning back to the DJI Fly Home screen. If the Air 3 has not shut off at this point, you'll need to turn off the Air 3, insert a new battery, boot up again for each battery that you own. This will initiate the update for the battery after which you can repeat the steps we just mentioned. Depending on the number of batteries you have, this process could take a few minutes. We'll briefly talk about manually checking for firmware updates. If you've not been prompted automatically that there is a new firmware available, 
You can manually check for updates by doing the following. With the DJI RC turned on and connected to your Wi-Fi network, and with the Air 3 on, when in the DJI Fly home screen, go to Profile, Settings, Firmware Update, check for firmware updates. After the DJI RC2 checks for the update, if there is none, you'll receive a message saying your firmware is up to date. If there is a new firmware update, you'll be alerted and have the option to run the update. Well, that's all for this video. If you have specific questions about this or our other videos, we'd love for you to join us at DronePilots.com. For more tutorials and reviews, head to DroneBlog.com.